Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy, it's Mickey again, and in this video I want to take a look at Laravel's conditionals in Eloquent. Right here we have our basic user search. We can enter a name and an email address. For example, if I enter an at example, it's going to look for any email address that has the at example on the end of it. Now obviously I can go back and I can look for a specific name, and it will return just that one user or we can look for anyone with the name that starts with HA or has HA in their name. And you can see that we have 49 here. Now, if we take a look at this code, you'll hopefully see some similarities here. If we go in to our app HTTP controllers and specifically our results controller, you can see here that we have a very old way of doing things. Now, this way is perfectly fine, um, but we just want to talk about how we can improve this by using conditionals. So if we go through this, uh, we're just instantiating the user model here. We're telling Laravel that we're going to be running a query on it. Once we do that, we check to see if the request has the name variable in it. If it does, then we search on that name. And we also do the same for email. And then finally, at the very end, we run the query and then just return those results to our view. Now, I won't go into the view because it's just a basic blade file. But what we want to do is focus on this bit here. So this is the old way. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it and use um, Laravel's condition statements. So I'm actually going to get rid of everything up to this point here. So right now we have our users variable and we're telling Laravel that we're going to be running a query. And what we can do here is we can use the when statement. So inside the eloquent object, when something equals true, it's going to run our anonymous function. For example, when we have, or sorry, when a request has the name value filled in, then we want to run the function and we're going to pass in the query. And what do we want to run inside this function? Look, well, we could say return query where name is like, and then just like before, let me just add the like statements in here, where the name is like the name from our request. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the, this and paste it underneath because we're also going to do the same for email. So when a request has the email address, we're going to run the anonymous function here. And we're going to return the query where the email is equal to the email within a request. And finally, at the very end, we want to say, oops, get any of those items that we're finding. So in here, it's going to evaluate this item here to true or false. If it's true, it's going to run our condition. And the same goes for the email. So if we save this and we return back to our search. Well, let's go and remember we have 49. So let's look up HA just like we did before. If we use search, oh, you can see we have an error. So let's actually fix this. Uh, I am missing semicolons in my anonymous function. So I will just have semicolons here in our closure, sorry. So let's give it one more try. Make sure we refresh and type in HA. If we search, you can see that we have 49. Now, just like before, I can grab an email address and I can search for a specific email address. It returns just fine. I can also do a um, not a full email address and we'll return all the ones with example. And let me actually pick on someone else here. We can do both the name and the email and we return that single one. So we've cleaned up our code a little bit and we're using a condition statements here, or conditional eloquent statements. And hopefully you kind of see the power in them. They're really nice and it gets us away from writing that old uh, if statement, which I mean, it, perfect, it works perfectly fine, but sometimes it's just not very nice looking. Anyway, I just want to share that quick tidbit with you and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.